现在是一个营养师，那我就会跟别人讲，这个食物更健康，这个食物对健康不利。呃，那我觉得这个背后是不是在传递一种恐惧呢？对那些不健康的食物的恐惧呢？就像第一天我看到大伟老师拿着肯德基在走，哈哈哈哈哈哈！那我在想，是不是大伟老师这个转业就让这个食物变得有营养了？是的。So I was wondering whether he is actually making the food somehow be nutritious. 但事实是因为，比方说注意注意这些食物的人确实活得健康长寿。而在中国，我也看到一些地方的人吃的过量饮酒啊，太多肉啊，呃、身体很多的状况。所以我的问题是，我的工作的目的是什么？哈哈哈哈哈。Yeah, yeah. Well, we could say that、um, the Holy Spirit works with the mind with what it believes. 就心，呃，这个圣灵的话会在，会根据你这个信念所在的那个层面。呃，来那个对你的心灵做工。就 ，so from， we'll say the relative perspective， um， diet and exercise and fresh air seem to be， a very helpful。从这个相对的层面来，相对的这个角度来看的话，就是饮正确的饮食啊，像这个锻炼啊，像那个干净的空气啊，就对我们的健康是有利的。One of my students、uh, many years ago was was、uh, very much into、uh, diet and nutrition and yoga. Yeah, 就在很多年之前，大卫有个学生，就他非常的注意，像这个饮食啊，然后营养啊，还有瑜伽等等。She had her degree from university in、uh, in dietary、uh, and nutrition. 就他在大学里面学的这个专业就是饮食跟营养这一块。The more she began to work with A Course in Miracles, she could see that it was really working with thoughts in the mind. 所以他随着他这个练休息期课程越来越深入的话，他发现他所休息的这个对象就是他头脑当中的念头。Uh, she still would feed her husband and her family、uh, the foods that she felt were the most healthy. 呃，她还是会给她的家人，给她的这个丈夫提供她觉得最有营养的、最健康的食物。When she would teach her yoga class, she still would work on postures and technique and breathing. 然后当她在上这个瑜伽课的时候，她还是会教这个瑜伽的体位啊、瑜伽的呼吸啊等等。But over the years, she continued to look at her emotions and and her thoughts. 然后在他练习奇异课程的那几年当中，他就一直在关注自己的和多次的 ，and her emotions，OK，、okay. okay. mm-hmm. 一直在关注他自己的这个念头和情绪。And when people would come to her, when clients would come to her, she would start to tune into what are they really asking for. 啊，然后当他的这个。客户就他的学员来找他，请教他请教他一些问题的时候，他会聆听内在的声音，然后去想要知道呢，到底什么对那个人是最有帮助的。And she could feel that they were really asking for for healing and for happiness. 事实上，他发现就他能感觉到，每个人他们在寻求的都是幸福跟治愈。So gradually, she still would use her her. Learnings in in yoga and nutrition. 呃，就是慢慢的，他还会这个继续利用他在瑜伽和营养这一块的这个知识。But she became more attuned to their need to talk to her about things that were much deeper. 然后，但他逐渐能够感觉到他们想要跟他探讨一些更深层次的、更深入的一些事情。For example,、uh, her yoga class became more of a meditation class. 就比如说，就她的这个瑜伽课就更多的就变成了一个冥想的一个课程。People became less concerned with the, the positions of the body and the breathing, and they wanted to share what was on the, their hearts with her. 
，就人们不再像以前那么注重自己的这个知识和这个坐姿等等，那更多的是想要分享他们自己内在的一些想法。So instead of walking around the class and saying, you know, bend here, stretch here, squat here. 所以，所以他，后来他在上瑜伽课的过程当中，就不再说这个走来走去，然后告诉那些学员，你这里要那个拉开一点，那里要歪一点等等，不再说那么多这这方面的事情。She would let the Holy Spirit speak through her to every person that she met. 然后他会让圣灵就透过自己对他所遇见的每个人发言。Only when the mind is extremely trained do the laws of nutrition start to fade away. Just like a fire walker walking on hot coals and not having their feet burned. When the mind is highly trained, the appetites fall away. When our mind is highly trained, the appetites fall away. When our mind is highly trained, the appetites fall away. When our mind is highly trained, the appetites fall away. When our mind is highly trained, the appetites fall away. When our mind is highly trained, the appetites fall away. When our mind is highly trained, the appetites fall away. When our mind is highly trained, the appetites fall away. When our mind is highly trained, the appetites fall away. When our mind is highly trained, the appetites fall away. 然后这个食物吃东西的话，就好像变成一个背景，就好像是一个舞台上的一个背景。Instead of sharing food, it's more like you are sharing an attitude. 所以你跟别人在一起吃饭的时候，你们事实上并不是在分享食物，你是在分享跟别人分享你的态度。But the spirit is very practical. 但是这个圣灵它是非常实际的。I've worked with people who have used the Course in Miracles in their daily practice. 啊，就大卫曾经碰到过一些人，他们每天都做这个奇迹课程的练习。啊、uh, ，one man seemed to have a, a heart condition and high blood pressure、啊。然后其中有一个人的话，他有心脏方面的问题，然后还有高血压的问题。He told me one time, he said, the Holy Spirit told me not to take my heart medication anymore,、uh, not to do any exercise, and to eat any food that I want. 啊，然后他有一次，他说这个圣灵告诉他，你不需要再吃这个呃心脏方面的这个心脏疾病方面的这个药物，然后不需要再锻炼，然后你可以想吃任何你想吃的食物，不需要去管哪些是健康，哪些不健康的。呃、uh, ，the next time I saw him, he had had a heart attack. 呃，当他下一次碰到他的时候，他那个人告诉大卫，他说我刚刚有个心脏心脏病发作。I said,、uh, what happened there? 然后大卫就问他呢，到底发生了什么事情 ？He said, the Holy Spirit told me, I never told you not to keep taking your heart medicine. <笑>然后他这这一次他又告诉大卫，我从来都没跟你说过，你不需要再吃那些心脏病的药了。And so he said, it was my own error in listening. 他说，事实上是我这个我自己的聆听就出现了问题，出现了错误。So he had. Stopped exercising, and he was not so concerned with the foods that he ate. So he, later, later, he stopped exercising, and he was not so concerned with the foods that he ate. So he, later, later, he stopped exercising, and he was not so concerned with the foods that he ate. So he, later, later, he stopped exercising, and he was not so concerned with the foods that he ate. So he, later, later, he stopped exercising, and he was not so concerned with the foods that he ate. So he, later, later, So the world is a mental picture that reflects all of your thoughts. So, this world is just your mind projected into it. One image, and it reflects all of your thoughts and thoughts. In this sense, it's not what happens to you that is important. It's always your thoughts. So, from this sense, the most important thing is not what happens to you, but what are your thoughts and thoughts. It is what you think about yourself. It is a belief that if you eat too much food or too much fatty food, that you will get fat. Ah, 就是如果你认为就是你如果你吃太多的食物或吃那些太多太油腻的食物就会变得很胖的话，那这只是你的一个信念。And there is lots of evidence in the world for 
that this is a fact. Even though we have people who have a very high metabolism who seem to eat lots of food and never get fat. In the end, we see that nothing of this world is a fact. So let's talk a little bit about science and research. Uh, based on a man named Isaac Newton, most of the science in this world is Newtonian physics. It is based on evidence that you can measure and that you can observe with the five senses. So for example, nutrition operates under Newtonian physics. And everything is based on empirical evidence that is collected uh, through experiments. Yeah, so Then about four decades ago came quantum physics. And quantum physics and Newtonian physics do not go together. In fact, what they discovered was that if quantum physics was true, that nothing in Newtonian physics was true. Because in Newtonian physics, they, they could talk about and measure the waves. Light, light waves, sound waves. But quantum physics got much smaller into particles. And the particles behaved very differently from the waves. The particles could not be measured in an empirical way. The particles responded to thoughts and to consciousness. They, they tried to predict where the particles would appear. In their, in their very tiny experiments. And the particles would appear wherever the researcher wanted them to appear. Ah, this was a big problem for scientists. Scientists don't want any of their experiments to be subjective. To be influenced by the researcher. But they couldn't get the researcher out of the equation. 
，他们在做这个量子这个粒子实验的过程当中，他们没办法这个把实验者这个因素从这个公式里面拿掉、剔除掉。The particles always behaved exactly as the researcher expected them to behave. 然后这个粒子的这个运动的方式总是跟那个实验者这个所期待的方式完全一样。So they could never get any consistent results. 所以这样的话，他们就没办法得到一就那种呃 consistent。没办法得得出那种一致的那种结论。And and what this proved was that the scientific method of of measuring objective material data was not true. 所以这个就证明了，就科在科学实验当中，对这个客观的物质的数据的一些测量，事实上都不是真的。And this proved that all of Newtonian science, physics, was not what we thought. Ah, this proved that all of Newtonian science, physics, was not what we thought. Ah, this proved that all of Newtonian science, physics, was not what we thought. Ah, this proved that all of Newtonian science, physics, was not what we thought. Ah, this proved that all of Newtonian science, physics, was not what we thought. Ah, this proved that all of Newtonian science, physics, was not what we thought. 物理学家准备出版发表自己的这个发现的时候，他们非常害怕。They did not want to tell their findings to other scientists for fear that the scientists would say, "Oh, these are crazy people." 他们不敢让这个其他的科学家知道自己的发现，因为他们担心别的科学家会认为这帮人疯了。It would be like saying your whole profession is a lie. 这就好像对其他科学家说，你们的这个整个这个所谓的科学科学生涯、科学大生涯，都是一个谎言。Yeah. And so you can see that quantum physics would disprove the field of nutrition and the field of of yoga in terms of postures, breathing, everything. 所以你可以看到，这个量子物理学的话，它就完全推翻了就所谓的这个。牛顿物理学的这些法则也推翻了这个营养法则、瑜伽法则，一切把一切都推翻了。When most of us go to school, we were not taught about quantum physics. 当我们大部分人去上学的时候，我们所探讨的都不是量子物理学。It was already discovered when I was in school. It was discovered back when I was in school, quantum physics. 呃，当大卫在上学的时候，这个量子物理学就已经被发现了。But all the science books were based on Newtonian physics. 但所有的这个科学的方面的这个教科书都是建立在牛顿物理学的基础上。We were taught that atoms, small little atoms, were were things. Yeah, 我们被我他们当时所受的这个教导就是那些个原子，他们是事物，是实实在在的事物。We were taught that they were very tiny things that made up everything. We were taught that these atoms are the smallest, the smallest things. They are the smallest things that make up all the other things. But even these tiny atoms are mostly empty space. But even these tiny atoms are mostly empty space. But even these tiny atoms are mostly empty space. But even these tiny atoms are mostly empty space. But even these tiny atoms are mostly empty space. You could hardly build anything from them. 事实上，你无法用这个原子来构建任何的东西。And now we know from quantum physics that atoms are not things. 然后现在我们通过这个量子物理学就发现，这个所谓的原子实际上不是事物。They are potentials. 它们只是可能性。Nothing but potentials. 只是可能性，不是其他任何东西。Potentials for what? 那这个可能是什么什么可能性呢 ？For what you think they should be， 这个可能性就是你认为他们是什么，他们就会变成什么。That's why people talk about manifesting using the power of the mind。这就为什么人们会谈到会用我们这个心灵的力量来彰显、来吸引一些事物。The world and the body seem like they are outside。我们会认为这个世界，这个身体是在
外面的，是在心灵外面的。But the world and the body are all in consciousness. 但是整个世界，身体全部在我们的意识当中。And when you change your mind about these things, 当你改变你对这个世界、对身体的看法的时候 ，They will change completely in your awareness. 他们会在你的意识中发生彻底的转变。For example, we believe that bodies communicate. 比如我们相信这个身体可以相互的交流。We equate communication with With words, we equate this communication to the words of the mouth and hugs, and then the body's hug and facial expressions, and then our facial expressions. But the ego made all of this up. 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 在目前来说，对我们来说，唯一有帮助的这个交流是 ，is what the Holy Spirit speaks to us in our mind。唯一有帮助的交流是这个圣灵，在我们在我们的头脑中，圣灵对我们说什么 ？When we try to figure out the communications of the people， 就当我们试图弄明白人与人之间的那种交流的时候 ，we just scratch our heads and feel like we're going crazy。我们只会抓抓抓着自己的头，然后觉得。Because there's no consistency. There's that word again. Yeah. 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 And that is why all of the sages and mystics have said, look within. 所以这就是为什么这个所有的这个智者，所有的圣人，他都告诉我们，我们要往自己心里面去看。Because our spirit wants to communicate with us. 因为我们的灵性想要跟我们交流。And the spirit is very consistent in its communications. 然后这个灵性圣灵的这个沟通方式是高度一致的。Uh, the last time that I came to a city that was this big. 就，大卫最近一次去像跟北京差不多大的一个城市的时候 ，was back in two thousand and three。那时候还是要追溯到二零零三年。And it was、uh, Buenos Aires, Argentina。那个城市就是阿根廷的布宜诺斯艾利斯。Yeah, it's a little bit smaller than Beijing。比北京稍微要小一点。But a lot of people。<laughs> so I spent two weeks going around and speaking to groups like this. So he was in that city, in Buenos Aires, and he spent two weeks in different cities and going to different Chinese classes and communicating with them. And the Holy Spirit kept pouring through my mouth, speaking, speaking. Then the Holy Spirit kept pouring through my mouth, speaking, speaking. Then the Holy Spirit kept pouring through my mouth, speaking. And all the heads would be going nodding. Then all the people would be nodding. All the people would be nodding. And I learned my first Spanish word. Then David, he learned the first Spanish word. Claro. 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 所以这个就是一个非常美的一个反应，对，就是圣灵是怎么样运作的。Because people recognize the teachings. 因为人们能够认得出这个教导。Yeah, Claro, I see, I know this, I understand this. 啊，我我我我明白这一点，我能理解这一点。I can't understand what my husband or wife is talking about, but I, oh, Claro, I understand this. 我我听不懂我我我我的丈夫我的妻子对我说的话，但是我能听懂这个教导。So, so we have to let go of all of our old definitions. 所以我们得放下我们所有的这个旧的定义。About everything. 对所有事情的旧的定义。Even basic things like communication. 就哪怕是这个最基本的，像这个交流这样的事情。But it is a very gradual process. That is a very gradual process. 
So usually you don't have to make major changes in the form of your life. So, generally, you don't have to make major changes in the form of your life. 生活的表象做出这个太大的改变。Everything gets used, and then gradually you outgrow certain things. 就你生活当中的所有东西都可以被圣灵所用，然后慢慢的话，你就可以放下那些东西。